Hey everyone, so today I have this nice A1708 2017 MacBook Pro with a fresh Monterey install on here. And you're going to see I have all these dongles and everything. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit today about what was going on and really why I'm even talking about a working MacBook. So uh, we did do this one in here for, this one's in here for repair. There was a virus actually on the MacBook itself. And yes, MacBooks do get viruses as well too. So macOS Mojave was actually on this MacBook itself here. And oh, and since we were doing an operating system install for them, we might as well just do an upgrade all the way so we can go to Monterey. And since their computer does support it, we might as well do that anyway. But it's really strange to see a, a Mojave on this, this year MacBook because no upgrades have been really done to it. Or maybe there has been like one or two, but there hasn't really been too much done to it as well. So we want to make sure they're all up to date so they can take the latest uh, Mac OS here. So we we're doing the installation and we found something really interesting during the installation here. We went through the typical steps, how you can go to disk utility, erase the drive. And um, we're actually using this one here. Uh, this is our Mac OS Monterey uh, bootable installer. We actually have a video on how to make one of these Mac OS Monterey installer and you can actually use a USB um, just put on you can load on the OS. Uh, it does bypass a lot of the server stuff Like for for older ones it bypasses the server and it's a little bit easier to at least get it installed and running And if you have an error the whole point of it is it's an offline installer, right? It does it really quick the whole point of it being it's an offline installer So we have it here and we did plug it in and we went through the typical steps you would going through everything to install it and um, When we were in actually installing it on the drive itself We did see that something did pop up and it did make us uh, question what was really going on there. It says an internet connection is required to install Mac or OS Monterey, which is really strange because we have an offline installer and what's the point really of having an offline installer and creating an offline installer and being able to create an offline installer if you can't use it and you have to connect it to the internet anyway, right? What's, what's the whole point? So uh, now we're kind of stuck in this situation where we have to connect to internet. It's not a big problem, at least for installing it, but it's a big problem for uh, the speed and everything else going in, into it. Like, why does it actually need an internet connection to actually update itself? Um, we've seen this before on uh, on, the other, on the other MacBooks. I believe it was the M1 Pro Max that we actually did an install for a client. And we showed that in our one of our previous videos about it too and how uh, this, this error did occur. But I want to make a, a video at least talking more about this today because it's really strange how it would be required really just to install um, an operating system to make the, the laptop function. Again, this is macOS. There's no activation needed. There shouldn't be any um, key or any verification to actually be needed for that as well. So it's really interesting how it's just more of going through the internet and why it would actually need it in the first place, right? Because the whole point of it is, is to make an offline store just to install it just so it at least runs. Unless it's doing some type of updates, which you can usually bypass updates and just do them later. So we do have a dedicated video actually talking about Windows 11, how it does need an account required. And that also requires internet connection uh, to log into your Microsoft account, right? Because it has to ping a server, connect a server, and do all those other things. Uh, we show a way how to bypass that in that video by... By pretty much just disconnecting the internet and then it doesn't realize that it needs an internet connection and then it just kind of goes right through it but that is a way to bypass it there just to trick the operating just to trick the setup to bypass it there but this one it is required and there's not much you can really do to get around it now we've installed it before on other machines and we haven't had it happen every time but for certain machines it selects certain machines and it will prompt that for the internet connection to be required which again really is totally unnecessary if windows doesn't even do it and is allowing you to pretty much bypass it if you don't have internet connection anyway and then usually what it will do is it wants you just to really set up the account later it'll keep prompting you and it may keep prompting you later just to make sure that you get the best experience of windows by having a, a microsoft account so you can log in you can download apps from the store you can use a lot more services and they they have this feature rich page where they talk about um, different apps and different things and it says oh you're not going to be have the best experience and stuff like that we totally understand that but this is mac os and the same point we made in that video is we're going to be making this video too is that you're going to be using the you're going to be using the operating system anyway to, to download any apps on here you have to log into the app store anyway and that's really the, the main way to use stuff it does even throw a fit when you try and install applications outside of the app store and it, it tries to block things and saying it's not verified from the app store and you have to go through the settings and then 
um, just allow each individual website to be downloading things, which which we understand is fine and that's okay because there's workarounds around it. But for this one, it doesn't seem like there's a workaround around it if you don't have an internet connection to actually be required. So even for obviously Linux, it's kind of the same thing. If you have the install, you probably went through like internet recovery anyway. Most of the way you do install it is if you hold Command R, right? You go through internet recovery and you have to go grab internet connection to get the recovery as well. I don't know if it's some type of security that's not allowing really um, things for getting bootables like this or just doing some type of verification. Maybe it's paying a server because it's the, the laptop isn't registered in the system. I don't know what's going on, but it's really strange. I've, we've never seen that before in almost any operating system that, that you would ever install. doesn't matter if you're doing iOS, Android, uh, Windows. This is the first time I've ever seen it. It's only in Monterey. Big Sur, you can, you can install it the other way and all the other Mac OS you can, but it makes the question is like, especially with Windows 11, you see like TPM and you get secure boots, you get a lot more stuff, and a lot more features that are making stuff more difficult to actually install anything to begin with. And you have to have a lot of requirements to begin with. And it's maybe just a next layer of security, which we do appreciate, but I really just don't get why you have to have an internet connection to install an operating system. Now I understand logging in, doing all those things, but Again, this defeats the whole purpose. You're going to most likely log in if you're going to be using any of those services anyway. So uh, anyways, guys, just a little bit of a rant. Um, just show you guys. I'm glad we were able to do this for the customer. And of course, most people are going to have internet, especially if you can afford a MacBook, you can afford internet. I'm not going on that. I'm just going on the whole point of why you you have to have an internet connection and um, just to install an operating system, not to do anything else. Well, do you like your computer not to be able to access it by you having to have a uh, connection to the internet all the time you know there are places that don't have internet connection snapdragon laptops do and um, i hope we're not going that direction because offline install offline installers and offline use is still very very important especially if you're doing document work you're doing uh, papers you're doing books you're doing other things writing as well um, and I hope they're not really forcing that for the future. So just something to think about guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We do lots of new talks like this, and obviously we do hardware repairs, but always from a tech standpoint, we always want to see what's the greater good for you guys and for all of us too in the future, and we want to see where the direction is going with all of our data and use for everything else anyway. And I, that's probably another thing what it could be. Maybe it's just all data. Maybe it's just tracking and maybe it's a lot of other stuff and they want that information. So anyways, it's up to you. What do you guys think? Comment down below what you think about this. And have you guys seen this before? And we'd love to know. Leave it in the comments down below. And thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.